my bunnies, it's Tiki Stringus here, and today I have for y'all another polymer clay tutorial. Today I'm going to be making, and I'm going to butcher its name, Gazette, 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 G-H-A-Z-T, G-H-Z-A-T. Ooh, buddy. I should have looked up how to say this before I did the intro. Anyway, it is the first, I think it was the first, like, ghost or spirit type monster that they released from My Singing Monsters when they came out with one of the sequels for the game. I'm not too familiar with the game, but I just, when I saw this creature, I was so, so intrigued by how cute it looked, and I cannot get it to focus. I can never get a focus when I'm this close. But yeah, I just loved how it looked, the ominous white ghostliness to it, and then the multicoloredness of it. And I achieved this by using mica powders, which you're going to see near the end, but I don't show you at the beginning. But essentially, I use almost every single mica powder, almost every single color of Michael, pa mica, Michael, every color of Michael powder I own. Mica, almost every color of mica powder that I owned. Or you can use embossing powder too, or you can use pop chalk pastels, pop pastels, chalk pastels, or you could also just use paint. But to use the translucent clay and get kind of a glowy effect still, like, it's really hard to de describe it, like an opaque or transparent effect. I wanted to use translucent color clay, and I don't get to use it that often, so this was a good opportunity. And I just thought this would be really good, but I thought I'd let you guys know that ahead of time so you can bust out some mica powders or some paint or some chalk pastels or whatever you want to use on it. I think chalk pastels will work alright on this. I know they work good on white color clay. This is similar to white, so it should work fine. But, um, it is really dark. There we go. The lighting got fudged up. And I just love how cute it came out. And this is going to be listed as a set on Etsy, finally finishing up one of my sets from last year, which had Flugel in it. And I think his name is Bromp. I'm probably not saying his name right either. Bromp from My Singing Monsters as well. I've been trying to finish, finish. <sighs> Talking is not working tonight. I've been trying to finish this set. This was the third or fourth set of My Singing Monster characters that I've done since, <sighs> gosh, Lee, about halfway through last year. I thought that's when I made the second one. I'm not entirely sure, but I feel like it was kind of around June to August, so yeah, it's been a long time, and I finally got it done. I mean, I know it doesn't matter necessarily, because two can make a set, but I don't know. There's something about the number three. I have two best friends, so that makes three, and then I have two best guy friends, I have two best girlfriends, and just the number three just seems to work for me personally. <laughs> That's weird, even though my favorite number is four. But, yeah. Third time's the charm, I guess, is what they say. <laughs> I'm done. Anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial very much. Like I said, feel free to kind of try out mica powders, chalk pastels, or um, embossing powder, or paints to get this effect. Or whichever effect you like. You don't have to use diamond eyes. You can just use clay and paint. It's however you'd like to do it. Sorry about that. Somebody came in the room, and I've been talking for too long anyways. I really hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. I'm not sure what next week's tutorial is going to be yet, but I'm pretty sure it is going to be the last one for my brand inspired, my chip brand inspired sculpture. So it is going to be Lay's and it is going to be a creature. I don't know if I've already said what it was going to be. Either way, let me go ahead and say what it is. It's going to be a bunny rabbit because I haven't made a rabbit in a long time and I'm dying to make a rabbit. I Obviously, looking at my business card and everything else on my channel, bunnies are my specialty. And I keep the tripod, and I love rabbits. <laughs> but anyways, thank you guys so much for, wa for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye, my bunnies. Alright, for this tutorial, you're only going to need one color, translucent. And if you want to make the eyes out of clay, like I said in the beginning, you can just use yellow colored clay and not beads. And I just went ahead and pre-rolled all the balls I would need, which is not very many at all. And we're going to start with the largest one down at the bottom. And similar to how I make my dragons, you're going to roll it into a teardrop shape. But then the round end, instead of flattening it out, you're going to roll that end out too. So you get this double pointed shape like this.
Then the fatter end, just bend up with your finger and kind of press that against your work surface like I'm doing to make it flat. Then the little top, we need it to be flat too, so you just lay it down on, on the little stomach part of it and cut the neck piece off. <laughs> that sounds awful. Then I jammed a toothpick into it too <laughs> for stability. <laughs> And I did cut that down later. That was a little bit too big. Either way, we're going on to the head now. This will be this ball right here. And you're just going to roll this into an egg-like shape. Pardon me. And then you're just going to stick the egg kind of slightly angled onto the neck, just like so. And then use a blending tool to blend it into the neck. I mean, into the head. You can go ahead and do that now, but I did it later. But you can do it now. Next, we're going on to these two balls right here, which I rolled in the very small teardrop shapes. I need them to be flat on the end, so I cut the ends off. And these are going to be kind of like cat ears. We don't have to indent the inter interior, though. You just stick them on just like that. And here is where I got my blending tool and blended the ears and the neck into the head to kind of make everything seamlessly flow together. I could do that more on my other sculptures, but I feel like with this one it needs it because it's kind of ghostly like. <laughs> Next, I just cut a gigantic gaping open mouth, which was about half the size of the head, so pretty easy. Just cut out the shape and gut it out. <laughs> Next, we're going to move on to these four balls right here, which you're going to roll into very small teardrop shapes. And then you're going to make these flat on the top, so you're going to cut off all the top pieces. The bigger the two bigger pointed shapes right there, you're going to stick them on the top of his mouth, far as part as possible, and the two smaller ones stick on the bottom, closer more into the inside part of his mouth. Next, I used my beads, just poked them into his head for his eyes, which again, you could use clay for this if you'd rather do that. And then the last two balls I had to the side there, I just rolled them in long teardrop shapes. Then used my fingers to press them down to make them flat on the top. Well, they'll be kind of rounded on the top, but flat on the bottom. Then after that, I just cut off the tops of them at an angle. They should only be about an inch long now. I do cut those a little bit shorter, so about an inch long in size. And then I just cut out little triangle pieces to cut out the little fingers. Pretty easy. Just two little triangles on each hand. And then I just stuck it on the body and used my blending tool to blend it in. Now here's the fun part. Get out a paper plate or a lot of napkins because mica powder gets dirty. We're going to start from the top of this list. It's a dark, well the top right. It's a dark black pewter color which I use to brush the inside of his mouth. Don't worry if the colors bleed onto the other part. You can just brush over it. It's no big deal. But try not to get too much on the other parts. Next we're going from the top of this line and we're going to do blue patina which is my dark blue mica powder which I use to brush his ears, but we'll use more of that later. Next, I use this color called Great Fizz, and I blended it all the way down from the tip of his head down to halfway down his body. Next, I took the mint, and I used it down the other part of his body, near the end of his body, just his torso, not his hands. Next, I got the heirloom gold color that I have. Again, you could use embossing powder, not mica powder, or paints, or chalk pastels. And then I blended it onto his forearm slash wrist and then after that we're going into the green color which is the sour apple color and this is going to be for his hands and also for the tip of his tail like so leave the middle of the tail empty we're still going to go back to that in a minute and now we're going back to a repeated color we're going to use the blue patina again and this is going to go ahead and fill out kind of the rest of his tail but not quite all of it as you can see here and I also put a little bit more on the ears and a little bit more near the stomach next I moved on to the great fizz again and I used it to fill out the rest of his tail and voila <laughs> I know I sound so silly but you know it, it was a lot of back and forth and it's gonna be messy as you can see in my desk so be prepared Next, I took out his plastic eyes because plastic doesn't bake well, and I baked him for 350 degrees for 12 minutes. And then after he was baked and nice and cooled off, I took out some Loctite super glue, and I went on ahead and glued in his eyes. And while that was drying, I went on ahead and got out a wooden base and some green paint, just to match the other ones, like I said in the beginning too. And I painted the base green. After that dried, I got E6000 and put some on his bottom. 
and glued his bottom to the base. <laughs> After that was dried, then I glazed it with two coats of polycrylic floor varnish. And then after that was dry, I also took acrylic paint and just dotted on two black pupils on his eyes, as you can see here. Or as you kind of can't see here, but you get the gist. And then you're done. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was easy to follow along to, and I hope you enjoyed this. And my next video will be up next Friday of schedule, and I will see you guys then. Love you guys. Bye-bye, my bunnies.